Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and on the south shore of Long Island is a beautiful little town called Wantua. Well, today, we're going to be cooking with Wantua fireman Mike Munoz. You might remember Mike. He made us a spicy meat the balls last season. So let's get ready to cook with Mike Munoz on Firehouse Kitchen. Let's do it, guys. We got Mike Munoz in the kitchen today. Wantua. How you doing, brother? You uh, made it back from that fire call. Uh, it was a long call. Long call. Mike has been on uh, Firehouse Kitchen before. He was on Firehouse Kitchen last season, and uh, we were in the middle making... We we're making rigatoni with the uh, filet de pomodoro, and uh, I had to run out on a call, and you burned the pasta. Yeah, I burned the pasta. I ruined the whole meal, and the show was spoiled. No, just kidding. It was, uh, we, we survived. But that happens in the fire department. Uh, you could have everything going. We get a full run, everything turns down, and it might spoil the meal. The worst is when everything gets put on the table. We all sit down, about to eat our meal. The alarm goes off. We cover stuff up, and then we uh, run right out go door. out, and we could be gone for five hours if we got a good job. So we call fires in the fire department a job, exactly. and um, and you know you got to come back and eat cold cold steak and cold turkey. That's true. Eat. That's true. All right, what are we making? Well, today we're going to start. We're going to make uh, Maryland crab cakes. Okay. Okay. Uh, with that, we're going to prepare a little sriracha mayo to go on top instead of tartar sauce. Okay. Okay. We're going to do pomme frites, which is Belgian fries, mm -hmm. and that's going to be with a little pesto aioli. To okay. Go with that. And then I have my own version of a raw slaw. Uh, a little mm -hmm. healthy, you know, kick on coleslaw. Takes, okay. out, takes out the mayo. This way, uh, you know, you're not eating as much cholesterol and fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right, so let's, uh, what do you start with? The crab cakes first? First we start with the crab cakes. We get our bowl. Right. Little, okay. I love Ocean City, Maryland. That's, that's right. That's, that's, where, that's right. Uh, that's where the best crabs come from. Best, best crabs come from Maryland. Okay, we get the lump crab meat. Okay. Because okay, that's usually the best quality. Okay, we put that in the bowl. Very nice. All right. Oh, you just eat that right now, right? That's already cooked. It's already cooked, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so to that, we're going to add our seafood seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna add a teaspoon of that. All right. Um, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of, of panko breadcrumbs. Panko okay, breadcrumbs. To thicken it up a little bit. So we're All gonna right. put a tablespoon of that. Okay, put a little pinch of black pepper. A little pinch of black pepper, a little bit of love. Right, put a teaspoon of mustard. Mustard. Okay. I had no idea this was all in crab cakes. Yes, it is. A lot of goes into crab cakes. We put two tablespoons of mayo. Okay. Okay. I love mayo. And then what a lot of people don't know is we use saltine crackers. Okay. Ah, this Regular. reminds me of my blue glove tuna. I make a tuna fish and I don't, I don't put saltines in it. I put Ritz crackers in my tuna. Okay. And it flavors the whole Same thing. Idea. Yeah, same, same idea. Same idea. So we're going to crush up eight of those into the mix. Wow. Okay. And we'll just crush them in there nice like that. Okay. And then to that, we're going to add one egg. One egg. That like holds everything together. That's right? going to hold every, everything yeah. together, correct. Okay. I'm learning a lot on this show. Now, this mixture here, we're just going to mix it together like this. Okay. You don't want to over mix the crabs because you don't want it to fall apart. Okay, because the tuna fish, when I make my tuna fish, I rub it through my hands, I make it like into, into nothing. Right, this but, we don't uh, want, we don't want to be like that. Okay. So now, we look, we check the consistency of it, it looks a little bit uh, loose to me. So mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the panko breadcrumbs, okay? Some panko breadcrumbs. Just to thicken it up, just a little bit. All right, now. now, what's, well, now what exactly are panko breadcrumbs? Just, uh, Japanese version of a breadcrumb. A Japanese uh, version. It's basically coarse cut. Breadcrumb. Okay. You can make any breadcrumb into panko. It's just that's their, you know. Is it made from uh, like? Is it made from like a rice bread? It's made from it? a regular type of bread. It's made okay. from a uh, rice flour bread. Okay, rice flour. Right, but you can use if you don't, if you know if you don't like rice, you can use a wheat bread, whatever kind of bread you like. Okay. Okay. So then, what we do with this, we have to let this set up. Okay. okay? So we're gonna make our patties. We're gonna put them in the refrigerator. They have to sit for about an hour. Then we can cook them. Otherwise, they'll fall apart in the pan. Okay. So okay. we're gonna make patties first. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up our plate here. Okay. okay. And yeah. we're gonna form ourselves a nice, nice, beautiful. I'm gonna hold the bowl, actually. Sure. So there we get it. Okay. And again, so we don't, America can see your beautiful crab cake. We don't want to damage the crab. So okay. we're just gonna make it into 
Nice. All right. Soft patties like that. You don't want to pound them hard. You don't want it to be thick. And you don't want them round like a meatball. You want them to look like a, almost like a hamburger. Now we go, okay. I, go to, I, I go to Ocean City, Maryland once a year. I, I sometimes go twice, I go in the summertime. And I go, my family one, when we go to the beach. And then I go and I play golf, the other. Okay. And they have these crazy golf courses there called Man of War. Right. And, uh, and War Admiral, right? Isn't that what it is? War Some Admiral, yep. War Admiral, I think it is. And it's just beautiful. But my buddy Billy, who's played here, he has a place down there. We always go to the Crab Cake Factory. It's right across the street from his place. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's this little uh, bar. I don't want to say hole in the wall. It's a nice place. It's a little uh, bar restaurant. And they supposedly have like the best crab cakes in Maryland. So, yeah. You know, so they, but every every, every, every place, place in Maryland is, oh, is the best. Is yeah. the best. Right. Yeah. right. You can buy crab cakes there and you can play miniature golf in Ocean City, Maryland. It's right. just miniature right. golf everywhere. And great IPA beers. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. so basically we have our crab cakes all ready to go, right? Okay. So we're going to put these in the fridge. Okay. Let them set up for about an hour. They'll get nice and firm. Then we just put them in the hot skillet and cook them up till they're brown on both sides. Okay, now when you go put these in the fridge, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a fire safety tip. So we're going to be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray. And today's safety tip is for you firefighters out there. Now, I was a New York City firefighter, and I was involved in a fire once where my lieutenant told us to stop, take a second, put your hood on, put your ear flaps down, and we did. And then we went into the fire, and there was a flashover in the fire, and we didn't get burned. If we didn't take that extra second to get in there, put on our hood, take our ear flaps down on our helmet, we might have gotten burned. It's very, very important to take that second, make sure all your gear's on, it's on right, before you go into that fire. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these safety tips save lives. The crab cakes are chilling. Correct. All right, so what's next on our We're going to do meal. pomme frites, which is Belgian for French fries, basically. Pomme frites, um, okay. What we did was we pre-sliced potatoes, okay? These are Peruvian purple potatoes, so that's why they look a little different around the edges. Peruvian purple potatoes. Right, and okay. we have some nice sweet yams, okay? One of the secret tricks that I like to use for the potatoes is you put them in the microwave for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds before you cut them. Mm -hmm. The sweet potatoes, you put them in a little longer, about a minute. Makes them nice and soft, so when you fry them, they cook a lot hey, better. Hey, yeah. And they feel sm smoother inside. They're like, so a, the, like a consistency. So this is only from the microwave? Correct. Wow, that's yeah. wild. It gives it a consistency like a mashed potato inside, I so when you bite into that. it, it's that's not hard. That's crazy. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. That's one of the tricks that they use to make you know nice, soft french fries in a lot of places. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, my, fr uh, my french fries to me were just... Uh, in the firehouse, we had a guy. We had one of those. We had one of those table French fry cutters. On oh, a potato press. Yeah, and and uh, and we and we make them. And the, the worst thing about it was when we'd make the French fries, we would get oil all over everything. <laughs> you know, we make it. It's a big right mess. Ahead. It's a big mess. And then yeah, no, then the probies. Though the probies do all the cleaning, and um, you know, and I was you know. Well, that's what they're there for. Yeah, that's what they're there for. Yeah, probies, probationary firefighter. They're the ones who serve all the senior staff firefighters. Right? That's true. Good. Okay. okay, so basically what we're going to want to do is we want to take our potatoes and take them over here to the stove. Okay. Okay. So we have a cast iron skillet, which is heating up. Okay, we're going to raise Beautiful. the flame up. Beautiful cast iron. Right. That heats, the, that makes the best french fries. Yeah. And it gives it a nice crisp uh, brown crust. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to test the oil. Yeah, you don't see those skillets anymore. Those big. No, no, yeah, those are old school. Yeah, those are old school. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to put our potatoes in. All right. All right, so we got those bubbling in the oil. Uh, when do you want to put the yams in? Uh, we're going to put those in as well. Okay. So I'll, I'll stand more by in with the yams. You want to bring those over? Yams. We can put them in. But I like yams. yams. Why don't you put them in? Oh, I want me to put those in? Sure. I will put those in. Those. All right, it's like a little jacuzzi over here for yams. And we're going to just stir that around a little bit so All they don't right, stick I'll together. Let you, I'll, let you, I'll let you go to it. And okay. uh, how long do they usually take to cook? Usually about five to seven minutes. Okay, that's okay. Right. They cook pretty quick. Yeah. Again, because we par cook them in the microwave. Mm -hmm. You can also par boil them if you want. A lot okay. of people do that. They put them in the fridge overnight. Okay. Usually I do that if I'm going to make home fries. Very nice. That's how they do them in most diners. It's Very diner nice. Dish. Okay, so we're going to just give them a little turn. This way they don't stick to the pan. Okay. Okay. And one of the benefits of having a nice seasoned cast iron pan is it becomes its own non-stick surface if it's seasoned properly. I like that. That's why a lot of the uh, old timers like using the uh, cast iron. Okay, so now, it. while we're making these, has anything uh, happened in the past? Any fires? Anything? Uh... We recently had a big job over in Seaford at uh, the pool supply place. Uh, it involved six departments. 
Uh, we sent uh, one of our ladder trucks. We had two of our engines there, our rescue. It was pretty bad. It was a pretty big job. Yeah. So leveled the whole building. Yeah, you know what? My buddy has a karate school that's in that same shopping center, and he lost his karate school. He had to shut it down. Yeah, it was devastating. Yeah, it was devastating. Huge. I took out the... And uh, you, I, I think I remember seeing that on the news. You saw the whole uh, building, you know, it was inflamed like crazy. And then when I went to visit my uh, buddy's, friend, my friend's karate school, see if he needed any help moving stuff out, uh, it was gone. Just completely gone. Everything was gone. Devastating. Yeah, it's just an empty gone. lot now. It's yep. just an empty lot. And that was a, that was a big building. Huge. They were there for a lot of years. Yeah, a lot of years. I, I, I remember. Yep. That's it. So. That's All right, good. so these are cooking okay. nice, as you can see. Turn it nice and crispy. Very nice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these out of the oil when they're done. Okay. We're going to put them on a tray with some paper towel. Okay. Just to let them. Uh, I'll get that. Right. Just to let them drip. We'll put the tray the over with some paper towel. Just to get a little of the oil off of them. And that'll let, it, that'll let it drip dry. Right. So we're going to take a couple of these out here like okay. this. Okay. And we're going to put them on the paper towel. Very good. Very good. That makes it more healthy because the paper towel is absorbing all the, the grease. Okay. And then the rest of those we're going to put in to cook. Okay. Right? Now, the other thing we like to do is once we take something out of the oil when it's mm -hmm. hot, we like to season it with a little kosher salt first. A little salt. Okay. And a little pinch of black pepper. Because when everything is hot out of the oil, it absorbs the seasonings that you're putting on it much better. Amazing. Okay. I love it. All right. I love so it. Let's, let's make some more. Let's make some more. Let's make some more. All right. Now, while these are starting to cook up, we got a lot of potatoes and yams to cook up here. Why don't we go to a fire fact? We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is the fire engine. There's a difference between a fire engine and a fire truck. A fire truck carries the ladders, all the extrication tools. A fire engine carries the hoses and carries the water. A little quiz. How many gallons of water can a fire engine carry? If you answered, 500 gallons, then you are right. A fire engine carries 500 gallons of water. That's enough water to put out a small brush fire, to put out a car fire, even to get started if there's not a hydrant, if we're going to be putting out a house fire. 500 gallons can put out a lot of fires. I'm Firefighter Ray, and my fire fact is the fire engine. All right, we got our palm frites. They came out. They look delicious. I'm going to have to taste one of these. Sure. Okay. Well, I shaved to the end. I shaved to the end. It's been about an hour now. Our crab cakes are ready. So as you can see, they get nice and firm. Okay. Okay, so they won't fall apart when we cook them. Wonderful. All right, so you want to take them over here. We'll put them on the stove. That sounds good. And then we'll start making our slaw. All right, start cooking up the, right. the crab cakes. So we have our skillet. Okay. okay. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that on, bring that up to a medium heat. We're going to take a little bit of uh, regular corn oil or mm -hmm. vegetable oil, whatever you want. Okay, we're just going to put a little bit of oil in the pan. We don't really want to deep fry them. We just want them to cook, mm -hmm. okay? They take about three to five minutes per side to okay. get browned, okay? So what we're going to do is gently mm. place those into the pan. Like that. Very nice. Okay. I'm telling you, I can't stop eating these palm frites, Mike. You like those? Now, what, 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 does, what is this whole palm frite business? What, what is it? Well, palm frites are the Belgian version of French fries. Okay. okay. In France, they make the French fries, they cut them on a diagonal, and they mm -hmm. fry them crispy. In Belgium, they make them on an angle, sliced, okay. and they cook them up kind of medium soft. I made them at the firehouse one time, the guys went crazy with the name. You know how the brothers are, they don't trust something new. But when they ate them with the sauce that we're going to make, they went crazy for them. I just ate one of the sweet potato ones. Holy cow. This is so good. Okay. Oh, man. So we're just going to let these guys cook in the pan. All right, they take about three to five minutes. Okay. While they're cooking, we're gonna just start the coleslaw. All right, start okay, the coleslaw. coleslaw. You know what we call this in the firehouse when the food, well, you know, in the, in the firehouse when we have like food before the food, we call it nosh. We call it nosh. I'm gonna move this stuff over. Okay. Just so, we're gonna, I know we're gonna add all this stuff in. Right. Just so it's right in the middle of everything, because we're gonna okay. mix up some coleslaw. Got it? Good. Oh, good. Now, the difference between regular coleslaw and what I'm making is raw slaw. Okay. Um, we buy the slaw already cut up in a bag. Makes life a lot easier. Okay. Okay. So it's a one pound bag. We're going to put it into our mixing bowl. All right. Okay. So this, does this come like this? this comes it comes already sliced up. I mean, you could do it yourself, but it takes forever and it never comes out as good. Okay. So I buy, I like to buy the bag. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay. We're going to pour that. Apple cider vinegar. All over our uh, slaw. Okay. 
We're going to take just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. Just drizzle a little bit over the top like that. Okay. A little bit of love. A okay. little, bit, little of love. bit of love. A little bit of love. Okay. We're going to take maybe about a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt. You can, add, you can adjust it accordingly. I like to use a little bit more, a little less, depending. Mm -hmm. A little black pepper. A little black pepper. Okay. Uh, and then we're pinch. going to get our mayonnaise. And we're going to put just a little bit of mayonnaise. No, not all of it. I no, like no, just a little mayo. bit of mayonnaise. Okay. okay. A little bit of mayo. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give that a couple of turns. Okay. We're going to mix that up. And then I like to take, being we're keeping with the seafood theme, we're going to take a little bit of the seafood seasoning. All right. And we're going to give it a little bit of love with that. A little okay. bit of love. Little and bit then love. we have a fresh lemon over here. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the lemon like yeah. that. And you want to put your hand over it so that if any seeds come out, they don't fall into the what you're making. Yeah, nobody likes seeds. Nobody likes seeds. Okay, so we're going to put the juice of one lemon. Okay, that was half. We're going to put the other juice half. Juice of the other. And you're going to and stick your you hands see, in there. Well, as you can see, the seeds come out in my hands. Oh, there you go. And they don't fall into the food. Okay. And then we're going to mix this up. The raw slaw. Do I have to do anything with the crab cakes? No, they take about three to five minutes on each side. Okay. Okay. And we're just gonna put this in the fridge. Okay. All right. You wanna put that in the, in the fridge? fridge. I'll that put can that go in the fridge. fridge. All right. Put it in the fridge. And I'm gonna check on the crabs. Awesome. All right, okay. crab cakes are cooking up. Slaw's in the fridge. Slaw's in the fridge. All right. We've got these, what were these called again? Palm fritz. Palm fritzes that I'm eating. Okay. Now. So what we call a snack, I've said it before, we call a snack before the dinner. The nosh. That's the best part. The nosh. Exactly. Such a good name, the nosh. The nosh. Okay, so what we want to do is for the palm fritz, we want to make a uh, pesto aioli. Okay, it's like a little dipping sauce that goes with it. Very nice. Okay, so what we do is I usually, you can make your own pesto, right? Okay. That's easy to make. But they sell really good quality pesto in the store now, mm -hmm. so you can buy it already done. So you don't really have to get involved with all that. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about two tablespoons. And this is take. A pesto aioli. Aioli, right. Maybe a little bit extra. Very Irish. Like yes, yes. Yeah, it's right next to the uh, potatoes and, okay. and these corned beef on my table. Pasta and then we're going to get to that, it. we're going to add a tablespoon of mayo. Okay. Okay. Okay, we add a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of black pepper, a pinch of paprika. A pinch of paprika. A pinch of the uh, ocean seasoning. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to mix that up. A bit of this. It looks good. It comes along. Yeah. We have a little bit of, of Worcestershire sauce here. All right. Okay, we're going to just take a little bit of that, put that in there. Oof. A little bit of olive oil. Now, we got a lot going on. All these recipes are going to be on our website at firehousekitchenshow.com. And it'll have the instructions and all that because this is awesome. This is awesome. Now, what I'd like to do with this is then I take my whisk and just whisk it up so it gets nice and aerated. Okay. And then thick. I think that is thick. That's unbelievable. Okay, and then what we do is right into the bowl. Right. We're gonna put that right into our little serving bowl here. And that's our dipping sauce? That's gonna be our dipping sauce for the for the uh, uh, palm fritz. Right. Fritz is the German guy. Fritz is the German guy. I almost said I almost said pomodors. And we're gonna put that right in there. Okay? And that's ready to go. We're gonna go check on our crab cakes again because I can smell it. They're ready to be turned. Okay. Okay. So what we do is we gently pick them up and, and give them, them a nice little flip. See how golden brown they are on yes, the side? Yes, that is awesome. That's exactly how we want them to be. Very nice, a golden brown. See that, nice and golden brown? Beautiful. That's also the reason why we put them in the fridge. Okay. So they get nice and firm, because if they weren't, they would have fallen apart. Okay, so we're gonna give those a few more minutes on that side. Mm -hmm. All right, and then they'll be ready to go. I just tried the, the dip. How'd you like the dip? Unbelievable. Holy oh, yeah. cow. All right, so now what we're gonna oh, do is God. we're gonna make our Sriracha mayo to go with the crabs. Some sriracha mayo. Okay. Sriracha is a Thai sauce. Okay. It's like a Thai chili sauce. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little sriracha. One mayo. teaspoon of that. Okay. You can now add as that, much. Is that spicy stuff? It's spicy stuff. So okay. that's why I put. I start with a teaspoon. I like it hot, but yeah. I know you're not into hot stuff. I'm not into hot stuff. I right. Like, I'm, I'm a wimp when it comes to eating buffalo wings. That's the Italian in you. That's why. That's, yeah. That's right. So then we're gonna put two tablespoons of mayo. Okay. Into that. And we're going to add just a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to whisk, stir that around. That right up. 
And then to that, we're going to add a little bit of our old ocean seasoning here. That's wonderful. A little pinch of black pepper. Beautiful. Pinch of salt. And then we're going to cut another lemon. Okay. Take just a little piece of the lemon like that. Again, we're going to put it over our hand, just a little juice of the lemon. Uh, Mike, this is like professional stuff you're making here. This is not fire department. This is something, this is unbelievable. You got to do something else than just cooking at home. Well, ever since I've been on the show, you know, doing all the cooking I do with the firehouse, they call me the firehouse foodie. Okay. Okay. And uh, I have a, a firehouse gourmet, which is my catering business. Okay. Okay. So I do all kinds of catering for different types of parties and you know, events and things like right, that. Now, do you come? Are they getting mic'd? Well, Mike they can't, they can I could do parties for two people, intimate dinner, dinners, all the way up to 200 people. All right, wow. so, yeah, so I do all kinds of corporate events, Sweet 16s, you know. Well, yeah, like I got that. a website, I'll, I'll let you put your website up there. Go for it, what's your website? Uh, it's uh, www.firehousegourmet.com. What's so. this? Unbelievable, all this stuff. All right, so now we got our? That is our Sriracha mayo. Our sriracha which is mayo. Go with our crab cakes, which are done. What was this called again? That's palm frites. Palm frites with, with the, the pesto aioli. Pesto aioli. Right. I got it. Remember okay. Fritz? He's the German guy. Fritz is the German guy. Fr right. Right. Fritz. And he's gonna get pounded. Palm. He's gonna. Oh, I love there you it. There go. All okay. Right. Uh, so we're gonna when we plate this up, we have that ready. We're gonna put this on a plate. We're gonna put our crab cakes. Okay. And we have our raw slaw. Very and nice. We're good to go. All right. So looks like just, everything's just about done. Why don't we clean up? Let's plate this bad boy up, and I'll be right back. Well, this is some spread we got here. With my Palma Fritz's. Right. Good. And my Pesto Iorio. Right. That was good? No, but okay. it's okay. My crab cakes with my mayonnaise Sis, sis. Close. What was Sriracha it? mayo. Sriracha mayo. And hey, I got this. Coleslaw. Nah, it's raw slaw. Raw slaw. Raw slaw. Man, I, just, I, I gotta pay attention better. Oh, that's okay. that's okay. I was too busy eating these, these pies. I saw that. I saw that. All right. Okay. All right, so we're gonna serve each other up. I'll take one of those bad boys. There you go. All right, you know what? I'll give uh, myself some potatoes. And I'll give you a little bit of the raw slaw. I'm gonna there. give some, there we go, some of those. Gonna make it a healthy dish. And there you go. Serve you, my brother. Why not? It's the fire department. There you go. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. I'm gonna give you a little bit here. A little love. I'll give you a little. All right. And then just a little bit of, little bit of lemon to, to liven Ooh. it up a little bit. Awesome. All right. All right. Here we go. See what you think. Let's see what we got here. You like that? Better than the Crab Cake Factory. <laughs> you like Fritz? Fritz is good? Delicious. Oh, man. It's so, um, it's so moist in the middle. It's so good. That's a little bit of mayo that's in there, too. That's a little that's bit of mayo. A little bit of mayo does that. Mike, this is great. Uh, let me try the cold sauce. Go ahead. Raw slaw. Delicious. And it's healthy for you. Oh, baby, that is really good. And it's healthy for you. I already know how these taste. I'm already about to you like it. Right. You like Fritz. I love Palm Fritz. Well, Mike, this was awesome. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. If you want to share any recipes with us, or if you want to come on Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. Uh, you can friend us on Facebook. Also, uh, if you want to donate to the Burn Center or to the Ice of Town Museum, we do a lot of foundations. Uh, we do Wounded Warrior, we do uh, the Heather Pentagrass Foundation, which is for uh, children of volunteer firefighters, uh, firefighters who need help. But you know, just a lot of stuff that we're trying to do with the show. But Mike, thank you again for coming on. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time on Firehouse Kitchen. Woo! All right, let's eat up. This is delicious. <laughs>